I'm curious, what is your true passion? Do you have something that you hope sticks the most? What are you enjoying the most in this process? Yeah, I do. I do enjoy doing the content. I do enjoy talking to people like you and doing the podcasts. And I enjoy when the, you know, performance of my funds is obviously high because, you know, investors are making money. Obviously, I'm making money in that kind of situation. Um, I, I think in another life, I probably would have gone full on musician. So, you know, I've got uh, I'm a songwriter. Um, wow. I've got a few, a few, I've got a few songs that I have out there, an album, actually. Um, and it's more of a side hobby. I, to me, it's more just, I think everybody has to have some kind of creative outlet that's productive. I mean, a lot of people have outlets which are destructive. Um, that to me always sounded fun, but the idea of being kind of a, a starving artist, I think, um, is not exactly something you want to strive for. Wow, you're like multidimensional. I love this. Well, I have to say, I love the music on your Lead Lag podcast. Every time it starts, I'm like, yeah, like I love rock. So um, is your music rock? Yeah, yeah, no, it's in, it's on Spotify. It's under the the band name Fortunate Fall, which is a band name I had owned back in like 2001, 2002. I always loved that concept of the Felix Copa, the Fortunate Fall. All right, it's kind of the idea that you go through a drawdown in life and it ends up being in some ways the best thing for you. Absolutely. Uh, I think there's a lot of power to to that as a mindset, right? That you shouldn't view every setback as a negative, but you know, maybe as a as a chance to kind of get back higher, right? Uh, 